Hello and welcome to another episode of the Timeless Food Travels. Today I'll be having lunch at Hermes Bulahan and Tepsihan. It's a very highly recommended place. It's more of a low-key spot compared to some of the others that I've been to. I'm in Tiger City. Ah, uh, yeah, that's why there's so much noise. I want to go to more low-key places, not just the upscale spots like the ones in BGC and Makati City. So this is where I'm going to be having lunch in today. Oh, there are lots of choices over here. Okoy are Filipino crispy deep fried fritters made with rice batter, shrimp, and various vegetables. Gado is a Filipino dish from the Ilocos region, made mostly of spiced pork liver as well as other parts of the baboy. Pinoy chicken curry makes use of a combination of curry powder, coconut milk, and fish sauce. Longaniza is a Spanish sausage similar to a chorizo, but if you ever see a vegan longaniza, that does not make it vegetarian. Ground pork menudo is a comforting, hearty Filipino stew. It's a delicious dish, which, like everything else, is served over rice. So I would like to try the original bulalo, please, since that's your signature dish, correct? Yes. Awesome, perfect. One of our delicacies is bulalo. Awesome, yeah, I definitely want to try that. And what kind of a salad is this? Cucumber salad. Cucumber salad, perfect. I'll get that as well on the side. As I mentioned previously, I really like focusing more on experiencing the local kinds of spots such as this one that are outside the private Ayala-owned neighborhoods to show the true culture and flavor of the Philippines. But then, if you would like to see more of a certain kind of a place on my channel, then please let's talk in the comments section so that I can continue to expand my own horizons and to show more of what the authentic Filipino kitchen has to offer. Maraming salamat po. That's a big one. That's, I did not expect for the bowl to be this big. Wow, that's cool. I'm excited. I like to see the big piece of corn in there. Look at this cute rice bowl that they have. The, this cute pot. I love this thing. <laughs> I also got these vegetables to go along with it. And I'm also waiting for a nice vegetable salad. I typically don't get enough vegetables in my diet. So that's going to be rounding off my meal. But I still have to wait for that. This is kind of a too big of a bowl for me to eat out of. What am I doing? Being a savage again. I have to put the rice in first. Alright, there he goes. Mm, beautifully smooth broth. Really nice. And the meat, let's see how well done this is. Mm. Haven't been to Bulalo since I had been trying it in Cavite about a year ago or so. It's really good. I only tried Bulalo a couple of times before, but from my understanding, this is really how it should be. One thing that's really missing here is black pepper. I'm going to ask if they have any. Let's see how these vegetables go. Really nice. Is that garlic in there I taste? I'm not sure. I like the sauce. Actually, it might be oyster sauce, hopefully without oysters in it. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Sometimes uh, leaves like this can be kind of chewy and hard to uh, get through your mouth, but yeah, this is really good. Mm, good stuff all around. They don't have any traditional pepper shakers over here. This is brought it to me on a little plate. So I have to be careful not to overdo it. I'm sure it's going to taste significantly better with this now, even though it is already pretty good. Don't get me wrong there. Hopefully, it's not going to make me start sneezing all around. <laughs> Yeah, oh for sure. Black pepper made a big difference. Tasty as it was already, it's much better now. I'll try to add some, I think this is called the silly pepper. Such a funny silly name. Bite off small pieces of it as I'm eating. Wow, hot stuff. I'm not sure if that's the right way to eat it, but yes, I'm doing things a little uniquely here. Just then the salad came, but it was the wrong one. Hi, Nikoff. Okay, now there's the salad I ordered. Looks good, if only a bit small. Vinegar sauce to enhance the flavor is always helpful. And I splash right there. And of course, I can't forget about the black pepper. The chunk of beef here is just huge. I can't imagine being able to finish all that. This fatty part right here is what I pulled out of the bone. You should not eat that if you want to avoid having high cholesterol. There's so much umami flavor in there, I'm sure. But yeah, it's best to avoid that. Very satisfying meal. I'm sure I'll be sold the salt by the end of it. This is me having a brave moment. Ah. Oh, that was 
silly thing to do. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I generally prefer smaller cut pieces of vegetables and uh, this is yet another example of that. It's seriously a big piece of onion to just serve like that while you know, cooking eat them. That's okay. Well, alright, my uh, meal is not quite done, but come on, can you blame me? There's so much over here. Plus I had all of these vegetables and I had the salad, that's done. Even the corn and the cob, plus on top of that as an added bonus. I mean, come on, I really gotta get some extra bonus points for this. I didn't expect to be uh, just chewing on a silly pepper. <laughs> How silly is that? But in any case, overall the dish was great, very enjoyable. Oh my god, the broth was so good. I would really like to finish it, but you know what? Oh my god, I'm so busog right now. This is very filling. I had a whole bunch of rice. I even had a refill of that because just uh, one of these little cauldrons was not quite enough to have a you know a nice balance between the broth and the rice. Right now, by the way, it's lunch time over here. Look at this. How many people are here? It's pretty much a full house by now. I'm going to be going out to. Um, Look for another place to hang out over here in this neighborhood while I do some editing and maybe you'll even get to see a little bit of that. And this is where I'm going to be closing out this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and always keep looking out for more fun and exciting videos coming at you from the Timeless Food Travels.